Guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do summary Mistress of the Martial Arts, uh, issue 3, volume 2, The Rise of Magic Events by Continuity, Continuity Comics. So oh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> so um, before we get into this video, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. You know, leave a comment, uh, share it on social media, hit the bell for notifications so you can find me uh, a little bit quicker. Thanks. So... Um, I did, a, did a, two videos earlier and have some mixed feelings about that. Oh, I like the story and I like the character. And this, is, uh, this one will be way, way, way better. The, um, the writing is still a bit wonky, but the art is really, really good. Uh, why? Because the art is not only made by Mike Deodato Jr., so, and that was before he got famous. So we have now the privilege to see his art in action before he, you know, moved up uh, to the to the bigger, you know, to the big two. Uh, did he some image work and Marvel work? I believe, not sure if he did DC work. Can't remember. But hey, it doesn't matter. Um, first of all, the cover uh, we see here, summary. But this is a uh, spread. And then we see some beautiful sexy art that is now forbidden in 2000 well since 2018 because you know social justice warriors and cancel culture that's not so we don't see covers like this anymore because you know sexy women are bad and if you like sexy women you are a bad person too yeah they can fuck themselves so let's dive in we see here ariman screaming at vanaya who is now turned into a snake demon and she is fighting uh summary and summary is you know defending herself and summary uh, i mean arima wants to you know get to earth to rule the earth and there are some demons here screaming and yelling and great stuff by the way i mean you can see the, the improvement of the art since the last two issues right so this is great um let me so we hear here Samurai, Samurai flying with uh, Jerry Ann and the other family on this concrete um, magical eagle, if you will, <laughs> as he is uh, avoiding uh, the attacks of the Vanaya, of this demon. And um, let me, can, I, I'm going to show this art here. So... Um, the battle rages on, and I must say, I'm I'm I'm, I'm still impressed, even because this is '90s comics. That Mike Deodato Jr. I mean, look at this; this looks really, really, really good. Um, Summary is defending herself. She throws some smoke pellets, and then she's getting attacked. Uh, and also, you know, the colors, the the shading, um, the energy that is releasing, the yeah, everything. I just I just like it. The, the lettering, it's great stuff. So, um, they are battling and um, somebody actually uh, hurt uh, um, Vanaya with her, with her sword. But then we switch over to, uh, to uh, why am I forgetting? <laughs> Jerry Ann, uh, because her father is still, in, uh, still under the procession of, uh, of a demon parasite, summons a portal that releases more demons. And the demons are attacking, uh, well, this little, this little boy and all the family because there's a man and a woman who are, you know, living on the streets and, and, and Jerry Ann herself. Uh, normally, they, they wouldn't stand a chance if the demon horde just attacks her, but somehow they manage to hold her own. No, it doesn't matter because comics, right? Um, it looks fun. So uh, we switch back again to a summary, still flying on that, um, you know, concrete creature. And then uh, they are, she's moving, she's goading, or um, is that the word I'm looking for? Um, Vanaya, and, you know, she's being cocky. And she says, you are but the hand of your master's power. Uh, without it, you are basically nothing. And then Vanaya is so distracted and angry by that because she thinks she's, you know, better than her master or something. So somebody jumps off and we see here this beautiful, incredible, good-looking, uh, explosion uh, with the with the with her in the middle. I mean the demon, and of course I am always ragging about backgrounds that we see here. Beautiful looking backgrounds, great lettering, great explosion, fantastic stuff, right? Um, 
Con uh, going back a little bit to uh, to uh, Jerry Ann, you know, still trying to defend off the demons, but the demons are way bigger and way stronger. And then um, there's something hilarious here. Uh, like I said, there's some from wonky dialogue. I'm not going into uh, it again because I showed you in the last issue what it is, but there's some weird stuff. So Jerry Ann gets her ass kicked. And then before um, this demon, you know, chokes out this, this old man, He's, he's getting killed by Samari. And then <laughs> he says, I've been cancelled. <laughs> and that made me crack up so hard because, I mean, although this is a comic from the 90s and we are living now in, in, in cancel culture, and because, like I said, um, activists and social justice warriors are taking over Marvel in DC and they are, you know, trying to get people cancelled left and right. This this made me crack. Yeah, it made me crack up. But I laughed out loud when I read that. So that's really fun. Um, so Samurai is uh, Samurai is dealing with the with the with the demons, and I must say, I just I wanted to show you how good this looks. There's so much difference in art from the last issue. Uh, there's more fluid, more motions, more more stuff going on, and that it looks really, 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 really cool. Um, going back here. So it seems that as Vanaya uh, has turned herself into her quote-unquote human demon form, is alive. And uh, she is again goading Samari. And then from, I don't know, the portal of, of you know, from hell, uh, Ariman is, you know, shouting and cursing. He said, hey, Vanaya, you need to kill her. If you want your freedom, I will free your soul if you slay Samari. So again, they are battling. Um, and they are basically going back and forth. And it looks really great. Um, okay, we see some megalith uh, ads here. Damn, I wish I get more megalith stuff. It looks cool, man. Um, okay, let me skip a few pages so here. So um, this is the father of um, Jerry Ann, and they are, he's still in, you know, being controlled, and he wants to kill his daughter because if she's dead, Ariman will have the portal of the means to get back to Earth. But then. Um, Summarize. Um, all right, she's still battling uh, Vanaya, and uh, he is trying to kill his daughter. And, um, and she says, "Dad, it's me, it's Jerry Ann." And uh, and then Summary is gets getting her sword again, and then we see some very cool stuff again. So she slices up the legs of um, of the demon, but also her eyes. And then uh, the old man tried to um, prevent her dad, you know, Jerry Ann's dad, to kill her. So again, uh, there's a lot of great stuff going on. The dialogue, eh, it's better. It's not, not really good, but I just, you know, said that many times. But uh, it, it does the job. Let's, let's leave it at that. Uh, the action is very fast-paced. Fast uh, summary, I, in my opinion, is still a great character, good-looking character. He, it seems that he has some powers, like, I don't know, something with chi and focus or something. I'm not entirely sure because I just... Recently got the volume one of the summary series, so I have no clue. Uh, I have to figure it out, so I'm just guessing that he is, has some kind of a hidden power. But I'm just making stuff up, so I'm not entirely sure. Um, moving on. <laughs> so, um, so her dad is, you know, going in a frenzy and um, try to um, kill Jerry Ann, throws his dagger at her, and then we see here, um, of course, a summary get the dagger and then the, the dad tries to get away and um and, and jerry Ann says no 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 kill him he's 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 not a bad guy and then basically she is you know stab him but then the demon creature that was on his back uh in the last issue was was on his head but now suddenly he's moved on his back don't know but he is uh killed or or, or it is destroyed let let's leave it at that and her dad is now free of the demon's control Somewhat, there's some some tiny part is still living, and then um, cool stuff here. Um, <laughs> little Timmy here. Well, it's it's not Timmy. He's called Brucey, not Bruce, but Brucey. <laughs> Again, hilarious stuff. Uh, kills the last part of the demon with salt, and then we see here Ariman is is going into crazy mode, into a frenzy, and uh, he will, uh, you know, how do you say? Uh, take on his wrath on the, his, the lesser demon in his realm. 
Um, we see a dialogue between Jerry and Samari and his dad. And I'm you know, not really going into that because there's some things about here about drug use. And her dad is being angry at, at Jerry Ann and wants to slap her. But then uh, he is getting lectured by Samari because he is involved in magic and he was addicted to that. And basically he was the cause that, you know, thousands, maybe millions would be killed if Samari and Jerry Ann would not, you know, didn't try to stop him. So um, they, are, they have, a, 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 you know, words with each other, but that basically... They are reconciled and everybody is, you know, good again and, and, and fine and they are hugging each other. It has a nice ending. And not only that, we see here, normally I don't show you the last page, uh, but I wanted to show this because it looks freaking cool. So Vanaya is going back to her master and then um, he said, hey, what could I do possibly to you that is worse than what she did to you? And she says, I don't know. He says, I do. <laughs> <laughs> this looks great, man. He says, I fry the skin of your bones and throw you in the well of despair. And then I allow the divas of feast uh, to feast on your souls for a thousand years. And Samaril will join you sooner than she knows. And that's basically the end of the book. And we see here some ads for Crazy Man and, and others and more Rise of Magic um, stuff. And we have the butt of... Uh, Summary. So yeah, so overall, this is a big improvement of the last issue. I really recommend it. Uh, it's great stuff. I like this. I wish Mike um, Mike Deodato Jr. does the whole series, but uh, alas, it is what it is. And then the last issue or the next issue, issue four, and this is the last issue of the well of this mini series. Uh, it's also been written or drawn by someone else, also a very known person. Um, it's by Ed Bennis, yes, that Ed Bennis, Ruby Nebris, and Neil Adams himself. So that's going to be a fun ride. Hey, guys, thanks for checking out. Uh, I'm going to leave it at uh, here. And, yeah, that's all I want to say. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.